I would like to invite Amy James, the co-founder up of Alexandria.io. Here is a microphone. Thank you. Thank you for coming up from San Diego. Absolutely. Thank you I'm for so inviting happy me. That you're here. I'm I was saying when we first here. started talking, I wish that my wife and I were connected with you or that she would have done her music later with <laughs> these types of things that you've put together. Because yeah. what you're doing for creatives, for musicians, yeah. is phenomenal. The numbers yeah. are there, the logic is there. That's it's right. not just like hopeful, it's real. That's so, right. So um, I love that you're here. Let me ask the big vision question What do you think blockchain could achieve in the next decade? I love this question. Good. And everybody in this space has been talking about how um, when you compare blockchain to the web, it's like 1995 right now, yes, right? We've all heard right. that. So think about the web in 1995. And now think about what it's like today. Yes. I think in the next 10 years, for sure, it's going to change our lives as much as the web has changed in the last 23 years, right? Like, think about the ways it's infiltrated our lives compared to what the web was like in 1995. Right. It's incredible. It is. It's gonna have wonderful and wide-reaching effects on all kinds of areas, anti-poverty, supply chain transparency. Um, uh, we're not gonna worry about the security of our personal data, but as you know, what I'm most excited about is how it's going to really empower uh, artists and creators of all kinds. Um, there are so many things that blockchain does for creators. I can't really get into the details right now. But one of the most important things that it's going to do is it's going to make it a reality. It's going to make it genuinely possible to earn a living wage as an artist. And that's incredible. As an artist, you know, that's an incredible thing. Um, and so I think what we're really going to see is people love to say a, a Cambrian explosion, but just this explosion of, of creativity in all forms. We're going to see artists, we're going to see new kinds of distribution platforms. Um, but if you are an artist, or even if you just like watching movies and listening to music, it's going to be a really spectacular time to enjoy art. Who is, what person or organization is driving us toward this vision that you're so passionate about? I mean, Elizabeth Stark is definitely um, a huge inspiration for me. What she's doing with Lightning Network and Lightning Labs is, is incredibly cool and important technology. It's actually what gets us to that 10-year vision. It's how this whole thing scales, you know? But Elizabeth herself um, taught at, I'm kind of fangirling out right now, she taught at Yale, and she was involved in SOPA and PIPA, and so she's just this tremendous wealth of knowledge, and she gives these incredible talks about layer two in particular is my favorite, pinned on her Twitter right now, check it out. Um, but she makes topics really accessible to newcomers, but also really technically satisfying. Mm -hmm. So she's just really positively contributing to the community in a way that I think is really cool. Yeah. What are you driving toward this next year? Like, what is your laser focus on for the next 12 months in this industry? <laughs> so in the next 12 months, a major artist is going to distribute their content on blockchain. And, and I want to be clear that I don't just mean they're going to like accept Bitcoin for payments. I mean that they are going to distribute their content in a fully decentralized and permissionless system that's anchored to a blockchain. And, and the reason for that is because of all the incredible things that blockchain can do, right? Um, we're really in this sort of generational format shift. When we're in this room with all of these cameras, it feels impossible that we're still between the format shift of physical distribution and digital distribution. But when you look at the business side of things, that's really not true. Physical distribution still makes up a huge portion of revenue streams, in some cases as much as 50%. And it's because the industry hasn't had a standard that was open and flexible enough to shift to. And that's what open index protocol is. And so instead, right now, we're in this fractured walled garden system. And it isn't working for anybody. Artists and audiences alike are getting increasingly frustrated. Um, and blockchain is going to solve those problems. It's going to give creators direct control over their terms of distribution, over their pricing. It's going to let them monetize their social media channels directly. Um, it's going to, sorry, I just had to move the mic. <laughs> Um, so it's going to do all of these things for them. And so there's just really no doubt to me that some sort of trailblazing artist is going to step up and show us all how it's done. Because this is the moment where new visionary companies will rise and giants will fall yeah. based on how they react to this technology. I love that. Yeah. What's the call to action? What should the people in this room, what should the people watching online, what should they do based on what you've shared tonight? So 
I think that there is a misconception that to be involved in blockchain, you have to be technically minded or you have to be in, interested in finance. Um, I think that blockchain needs all kinds of people and all kinds of talents. So I just really want to encourage you, if you're feeling like this is this weird thing that is uncomfortable, to just get involved. So if you don't own Bitcoin, or sorry, actually, if you do own Bitcoin, raise your hand. Okay, great. So all the people awesome. that have your wow. hands down right now, go make a friend. Somebody can teach you how to own Bitcoin. It's going to take like five minutes. It's really easy. If you want to get involved in blockchain content distribution and you are technically minded, go to oip.wiki um, and you can get started there. And if you are artistically minded, you can email us at creator at alexandria.io and we'll get you started and give you a lot of hand-holding because it's still in the early days. I love it. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yes, Thank absolutely. Thank you for sharing your wisdom and your passion with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you all for listening. It was a pleasure to be here. Yes. All right.